Hello, this is Odin Kai 2112 again, and I'm doing the Crucible this time. Uh, I just wanted to go through and give you the breakdown of the first uh, 24 levels, uh, 0 through 24. Well, I guess it's 25, 1 through 20, 24, 25. Uh, basically, you come into the Crucible, and you talk to the guy in the Crucible, and you start the waves. So here we go. First waves are pretty simple. Um, basic thing is using your sights. Uh, of course, I'm using the old trusted, reliable uh, the Echidna's claws, um, mostly because uh, of the health regen and in the uh, arena. That's what you need is uh, to keep your health and your your wrath up. Uh, so not a whole lot going on. I'm getting some uh, constructs here. Basically, just whooping their ass with my sight. I was at uh, three, three waves in like 38 seconds. So it goes by pretty quick in the beginning. Uh, not a whole lot to do here. Um, I just started over, so I don't have my death grip. So I have to pretty much go to everybody. Uh, my first uh, time through the game. Is on apocalyptic mode here, so uh, basically just tearing some new assholes here, using a lot of uh, harvest and the particular slice I use have a, a freeze effect, so that helps out a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a pretty long video, so I just wanted to kind of go through it here, at least be able to see kind of what's coming throughout the first. Uh, 24 waves. Uh, basically, the crucible broken up into uh, four parts: uh, one through 24, uh, 20 what? No, one through 25, 26 through 50, and then I believe 50 through 75, and then 75 through 101. Uh, so this is the first part of that. I uh, didn't do too good time-wise. I got somewhere right around 24 minutes. So this is going to be a reasonably long video. So and if anything, you'll be able to go through and see what's ahead of you as you're going through the levels here. Uh, you know, basically a lot of what you fought through at the beginning of the game, depending on where you are or where you started. Uh, every time you get an execution, it's good to take care of that. Um, make sure you have plenty of health and wrath potions to, to hold you through. Um, Gear-wise, I would suggest anything with health regen or uh, health back on kills, as well as uh, effects like the, the life tap or the life leech uh, will help you out. So basically about every five levels... Uh, You've done well. The arena, or the crucible guy will come back, and you can either take the loot and go, or basically fight on. Um, at the end of the <coughs> 25 waves, you can basically say stop, and it'll give you a big chunk of loot. I mean, last time I did it, I wasn't quite all the way through. I got like six or seven pieces of loot. So, I mean, that's a good way to get stuff to sell for money, or... You know, hopefully get some better better weapons and armor. And just kind of looking over what I got. You know, seeing what I can use. Um, right now I'm using the life vein. Alrighty. Keep going into wave 7 here. These little guys are a pain in the butt. Not quite as bad. Uh, it's the ones that freeze you. Um, basically, flip them down. Use some harvest to take them all out. Uh, not a whole lot of a lot of trouble with these guys. Um, the bigger, they're bigger brothers, which you'll see here in a minute. The, the fire stalker. They're a pain in the ass, especially when they frenzy and start slashing at you. So that's always a pain in the ass. But you know. Yeah, these guys, the Prowlers is what they're called. 
they're they're not too bad, but I mean they can they can really whoop your ass here later. Oh, no, these are still the little guys. Never mind. Yeah, so beat them up when you get to the stalkers, which are the bigger guys. That's when you can get caught if you're not careful with their bait key. A little faster, just go there and beat them down. Um, yeah, I mean a lot of this boils down to whether or not you have some kind of life leech ability or health on crit or uh, life regen or whatever. It's, you only get five total total uh, health potions throughout the entire the entire crucible. So uh, once you get to level 25, you have the option to quit, and then it basically starts you over with the 26 through 50. 50 uh, sections, so you could probably go and get some extra potions at that point and maybe cash in your, your loot requirements if you want. Uh, but, you know, if you're really going to try and go from 0 to 100 or 1 to 101, uh, as the case may be, uh, you might want to get uh, some, some health regen and or life leech weapons. And there's the stalkers, they're a pain in the ass when they go frenzy. So just be careful with them. They're not quite as bad as uh, some of the ones in the 26 to 50 range, but I mean, they can mess you up if you're not paying attention. All right, so here we go. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to, to uh, talk about shit for 24 minutes here, but we'll give it the best shot. All right, we got wave 10. All right, some more stalkers. You know, basically work on them, uh, take them out, try and stay away from them when they're in their frenzy mode, slashing in and whatnot. Uh, if you can focus on one and pound him down pretty quick, uh, like I said before in most of my other videos, I'm all about quick, fast damage per second rather than the big, slow axes or, or you know, hammers or whatnot, so I am using arm blades, or in this case, the echidna's claws. So, that's just me. I like to get in there, do as much damage as I can, as fast as I can, and it usually balances out pretty well. Alright, some more of the prowlers. Alright, there we go. Now we're on to the next wave. After we uh, call this guy, we're ready to continue. So more punishment. That's what we're here for. Freedom you want. More I just thought we had to ask. No right. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Wave 11. Got some more uh, tainted, corrupt uh, ad adjuncts here. They're pretty easy. Sit there and focus on them. Do uh, do uh, <coughs> executions as you see them. A lot of times I <laughs> in the middle of a combo when I see it, so it's kind of pointless for me to keep going. Uh, you know, fortunately I'm being a little conservative with my wrath, my wrath, but I shouldn't be. Just more you know, worried about sitting there beating them down uh, melee style, so. You know, it's kind of up to your preferences. I mean, kind of went uh, went frontal assault here in the first uh, 25 waves, which you know, I tried that in the second 25, and it didn't work as well for me. So, just to keep in mind, you know, first the first few waves are not too bad. Thankfully, I had my redemption for those guys, little flying uh, masks. They, you know, a pain in the ass to kill without them, but got redemption in, you can target them right away, blast them back to hell, and away you go. Alright, 13 waves, just under halfway there, some of the bigger boys, some of my uh, teleport slashes, uh, champions aren't too bad, you get behind them, just like in the regular game, they're slow, you know, use your, uh, your evade when you can, Use your harvest to kill large groups of them. You'll be fine, not a big problem. As you can tell, for the most part, my life has been, uh, you know, half or more for most of it. I mean, sometimes even three quarters. 
but you know, being a little lenient there and just fucking, you know, being docile will get you killed in quick succession if you're not careful. So just pay attention to your life bar. You know, have your full potions so that just in case you need to use one, you can. You know, try and separate the big baddies as much as you can. You know, get them both together. If you can get them froze. Uh, if you have that ability in your weapons, you definitely beat the snot out of one of the frozen ones. Get, get one down as quick as possible. You know, it's easier to take on one than two at a time. There we go. Got him down. Go take care of the second one. Alright, frozen, get a free get out of jail, life and wrath regen there, beat him to, to shit. Alright, there we go. Then we're gonna move on to the next wave. Oh, you can see there I'm, uh, what, almost 10 minutes in there. Granted, there's a little bit extra time for when we're talking to, to the Crucible Master there. I believe that's Garn, uh, one of the first mini bosses that you meet. Uh, yeah, there he is, that's Garn. So he's not too bad. I mean, you sit there and beat him down. It's when you start uh, getting multiple namers uh, in the mix is when it starts becoming a pain in the ass. But not too bad, you know, a lot of scythe combos, you know, for the named uh, Name bosses, get your little mini cutscene there. Give you a little, little breather. Alright, next wave starts. As soon as you tell this guy that uh, you're, you're gonna continue up the up the ladder, so. So far. Is it the prize and right. freedom? Yes, let's go. All right, now it starts getting a little bit harder after about that way, about wave 15. Um, not a whole lot. I mean, the first 25 waves are pretty, pretty, pretty simple. I mean, there's a couple hairy spots near the near the end there, but uh, for the most part, it's a lot of a lot of simple shit. You know, little, little flyer guys that are pains in the ass that can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. A lot of people, you know, can take all them guys out with a harvest, you know, playing a little conservatively, which is kind of a pain in, pain in the ass. I should have just went balls out and finished it a little bit sooner, but I wasn't sure what to expect in different ways, so I kind of I kind of held a little in reserve just in case. All right, mob after mob here. Damn, damn, up okay, there, the harvest there. Kill a bunch of them all at once. Wave 17. Just keep going. Okay, got some more of the little fire prowlers. Some of the constructs. Okay, pretty pretty simple here. These guys are pretty pathetic. Get in there, and beat them down. You can use these guys to to regenerate your health if you have a life leech style weapon. To keep up your health in these uh, these levels, no problem. Using some of your some of your uh, your different uh, arcane spells. You know, you can use some of the littler guys to regenerate your wrath as you need. And if you guys have played the game at all, you kind of kind of got the feel for it. Uh, for those of you who are kind of beginning the crucible, you know, the first twenty some odd levels are not too bad. Stalkers are a pain in the ass if you're not careful. Uh, but I mean, right now, you know, stalkers are a pain, but not really. I mean, if you're good at just popping out of the way, drilling them with damage, you should have no problem. Uh, Garn and uh, Gorn here in a little bit uh, can be real crazy if you're not careful. They get both get you in a corner and you can't dodge out of it. They're gonna wipe your ass around the map here. Alright, couple more stalkers. And got some ice damage, got them frozen. Stuff up, oh, there's another Garn. He's a pain in the ass, he's in like two or three different uh, 
different uh, rounds here. Take care of this guy, alright. Oh, he's a painted uh, construct champion. He's not too bad. Little drill, uh, drill maneuver there can be painful if you're not careful. But like I said, frontal approach for me worked well in this first set. Um, uh, once I start collecting the uh, gameplay for the second set, uh, I have a feeling that my uh, my tactics are going to have to change from a little less uh, frontal assault to a little more defensive, a little more baiting. Um, you know, potentially using some more of the arcane to make sure I can pound my way through some of the waves. Uh, you basically need 25 waves before it gives you a path to choose from the big guy there. So, right, tearing this guy down, corrupt. Uh, construct there, some savage stalkers, some pains in the ass, if they get their frenzy going. There we go. Down. As you can see, my health is generating there with crits, so. I believe uh, my crit chance in here, I it's somewhere right around 200%, so. Try and do quite a, you know, get a bunch of the crits going because that helps me regenerate my health. Alright, construct down, next wave going. Talk to Beefcake here. Yeah, blah blah blah. Would you like more punishment? Of course. Is it the prize and freedom you want? Or more punishment? We're fighting on! Right, wave 21. Right, go, beat some more champions. Get them out. Go, harvest. And there we go. There's one of those a little closer to uh, halfway. Now a little bit more. And up, there we go. Some crits brought me back up. Like I said, that life leech is, you know, you can't, I don't think you can complete the, the crucible without, without life leech or some kind of hit point regen or uh, health on crit or health on kill or something. Five, unless you're Captain Evade Master, it's five health potions are not going to give you what you need to get through, you know, potentially 25, potentially you know, 50, 75, 100 levels. Uh, so, you know, I, I definitely get you something. This guy's a pushover. Just stay out of his way like he did when he was playing the game. Get in there. Oh, oh. Let's see. Did I have to use the health potion? Yep, I used the health potion with that guy. I started with four, so, so far I've only used one health potion. This guy's kind of a Kind of a pain. So used to frontal assaults, I was having a little bit of problems with my evading. Uh, pulled that out toward you know toward the end of this guy. Takes a little bit of time to beat this guy down. Got my evades uh, dialed in there as the as the, as the went in and went around. So right, damn. A little free uh, damage uh, right here. Kind of kneeled down and defeat him for a while. Keep circling him. You can stay behind him. You can sit there and punish him. All right. Okay. Go over to the side. Still haven't used my Reaper form, as you see. Oh, cut seemed to lop his head off. Cut blam. There we go. Next round incoming. About 17, 18 minutes in. We're a little bit further in in the video, but the actual. Uh, Round round time. I'm um, sitting about 17 and a half. Okay, wave 23. We got uh, Gorewood. Uh, if you've uh, you know played through the uh, the first playthrough of the game, you know Gorewood was one of Thane's uh, uh, named uh, quest mobs that you had to kill. He's kind of a pushover. You gotta watch out for that uh, corruption grab that locks you to the ground there. The roots. Uh, it's kind of got in his face. 
whooped his ass. Um, faded a little bit when I got low on health. Relied upon my life leech to keep me uh, keep me healthy. Basically, tried to stay behind him as much as possible before he's slow and beat him down. All right, here we go. Beat him quite a bit. All right, cutscene because he was a named uh, monster. Done with him. All right, next uh, next few. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, four. So yeah, I believe this is uh, Gorn and uh, Garn. These two together uh, are a potential lethal combo if they get you mashed in between each other. Uh, Gorn has his uh, fire drill uh, move there, so I basically used my Reaper form and just started beating the snot out of both of these guys, trying to get as much damage them if I could. Right. Yep. Didn't quite get them killed. They both have little explodey bits. Gorn uh, has some uh, some fire damage that he does when he sits there and beats on the floor, just kind of like in the, in the regular game. He's trying to dodge all those. Try and stay out from between them when they're really beating the piss out of you. Got one down. A little cutscene to get rid of that guy. Basically, take care of Gorn. Doing this little bash to the floor, uh, send bolts of fire at you. Just dodge those, get in close, start beating snot out of them. Not a big problem. Alright, there we go. Yep. Little explosion that kept me dead. A little, uh, little execution move. Alright, beat him down. Reform. Alright. And on to round 25. This is basically the last, uh, should be the last wave here. And it's pretty a chump. You got uh, some Construct Champions. Gorewood in there. So not a whole lot. As long as you don't get sandwiched between multiple ones, you, you should be alright. I still haven't used my second uh, health potion yet. My crits have been keeping me uh, nice and healthy. And that's what it's all about here in the Crucible. Keeping your health up. I basically use my uh, health pots as kind of a kind of a get out of jail free card when I'm about to die. Uh, thankfully there was no ice or anything that I had to deal with in the first 25 rounds or that could have been Real pain in the ass, but uh, all right, beat Gorewood down here. Same as the last couple waves that we've seen him in. We'll stick behind him, beat him down, dodge behind him, dodge his little roots and his slashes, just like any other way. Um, yeah, for the first 25 waves, it's all about for me anyway. Uh, frontal assaults, and just taking it to him. All right, 30. 32 combo there. I mean, the best I've had in here was 52. So nothing too special. Alright. Root you in the ground there. Right. Just about history. And then once you beat level 25 there, Crucible Master comes up and uh, basically. Uh, marks it and you get the Heartstone Talisman which is basically the reward uh, for going the first 25 rounds uh, in the arena there so you get that and he pops up and you're basically back to where you were you get to decide to go on or quit I mean you could quit now and get a big chunk of loot or you can continue on to the next 25 so this is Odin Kai 2112 uh, thank you and have a nice day